Well, let's look at it like this, that um, the reactions that we are seeing are highly emotive, and that is understandable. But if we want to look at it from a strategic point of view, we must remember that terrorism is the instrument of weak people who have no access, no direct access to power. And so you see the clinical use of terror, whether it's, it is to kill uh, uh, soft targets or to do something bizarre, it has an objective. And if the objective is to break the will of a nation, create confusion, multiply fear, what is going on in Nigeria right now is something that will make the terrorists very happy. And I say this responsi responsibly in that I think there needs to be a lot more of consultations from both sides. Because when I listen to the rhetoric that is coming from you know, the upper and the lower houses and also the spokesmen for the president, it is obvious that we need to do a lot more briefings. They need to get more consultants to brief them that the objective of killing those farmers was simply to break the will of the nation, spread fear. And also, I think what is most important is this, is that the media reporting of it also needs to gain a lot more professional advice so that these reactions will be better informed. You see, one, once killings like that happen, the terrorists also rely on reporting the media as a force multiplier. If you ask me, a lot of the reactions you are seeing, there's, is, it's a mixture of fear, because right now it's dawning on you know, uh, people in authority that look, if things keep going on like this, there may be no nation to speak about. But the best thing to do is that we need to be informed properly. And when you're well informed, you will find out that the rhetoric will change. If you want me to give you an example, I'll say to you that calling uh, to the president and say, hey, uh, 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 you know, get rid of all your service chiefs, it's a bit confrontational. It is not the, exactly the right steps to take when we are viewing what has just happened in Borno State. And uh, for those who are calling for all sorts of measures. And in fact, the, the people who are even responding are making matters worse because they are making the president to look as if he's a, like a recalcitrant person who digs in for no apparent reason. Now, I believe that the tack that we should take is very simple. For people in the upper and uh, lower houses, they should refer to the 2019 security, National Security Strategy document that was signed by the president in 2019. And recently, you remember, he asked for an upgrade in it. If they looked at that document, they will discover that there are about three basic things that are first mentioned, which is the national interest, uh, and um, not only the national interest, I'll try to remember what the other subheadings are, but when you look at the subheadings, national objectives, national interest, and the national values, now, if the people in the upper and the lower houses were to read through that document, they could simply call on the president and say, look, you endorsed this document, you asked for an upgrade in the uh, architecture of security. But looking at the trend since you made that uh, request, it is obvious that things are not going in the direction that they ought to be going. And so we'll have some suggestions to make because of the future of our nation. And, when, and I'm talking like this because I know what is at stake. Might be that a number of people who are not, uh, who don't really have a lot of knowledge about what we're dealing with. You see, it's like a medical doctor who's specialized, who is looking at Ebola coming in and people think they're dealing with a headache. So I would say that language matters. The reporting of terror also matters. We need to do a lot more consulting. We need to educate the nation more. And then everybody needs to realize that the military, calling for the service chiefs, uh, uh, for them to resign and all that, let me tell you one simple truth that I have said 
for more than 10 years. When you want to solve a terrorism problem, the military aspect, kinetics, all the military can do, maximum is 37% of the solution. You don't need to do much research. 19%, some say, maximum 35, 37% of the solution. So if you asked me, I would say to you that the call is not really that the, the president should sack the service chiefs, but rather that we need to expand and create some extra offices that will work hand in hand with the service chiefs.